so far since I've been in office, nearly $48 million. It's the staggering amount of money State Treasurer Kurt Schuler has returned to Wisconsinites, and he has millions more to give. Hello, everyone. I'm Andy Choi. Good to be with you this Sunday. Tonight's top story is a call to action that might make you rich, or at least line your pockets a little bit. News 3's David Douglas starts us off. Sounds promising. It does sound promising. I'm, I'm hoping for both of us here, Andy. The role of the State Treasurer is in part to return unclaimed property, some of it valuable, some of it worthless, and some of it absolutely priceless. Robert H. Pierce's life as a World War II era submariner is neatly documented in a scrapbook for the ages. Personal photographs, this family, a very nice portrait of him in his Navy uniform. The memories of fun times and tough times, like this exploding plane shot through a periscope camera, were passed on to Pierce's son, who locked them in a safety deposit box and, in time, forgot about them. It was just too unique for us to just... Right now, the Pierce family has State Treasurer Kurt Schuler to thank for its salvation. His office received the items when the safety deposit box was abandoned, the rent unpaid for five years. Paper and photos usually head for the dustbin. We've uh, contacted the owner of the box, which was his son. Uh, we've determined he lives in Washington State, and we've sent him a message via Facebook. He hasn't responded yet. Forgotten safety deposit boxes are how the office ends up with countless precious items, like this one-carat diamond ring, collector coins and money, and hundreds of thousands of dollars in savings bonds. We are trying to return everything that we get, you know, because that's our job. In addition to items that neatly fit in boxes, there's value you can't see, like tens of millions in unclaimed paychecks, rebates, and refunds, all belonging to a rightful owner. The most that I have given back is uh, three quarters of a million dollars. I hand delivered it to an 80 year old couple in Wauwatosa. Schuler was the third treasurer to handle the claim. The couple had been upset their lost stock had been liquidated. We had a nice little conversation, and, I, and then I finally said, Don't you think it's time we cleared this up? All we need to do is, you know, know who do we make the check out to? And he said, okay. Last year, Schuler's staff returned $34 million, a record. In 2012, he hopes to top it, though returning something with sentimental value seems to be worth far more. If we never hear from him, I think this is probably destined for a donation to a museum. Wisconsin's online database allows you to easily check if you have unclaimed items, and right now the website will allow you to bid in an eBay auction for items being sold after they went unclaimed for a period of years, including the one carat diamond ring you saw in our story. So if you know anyone who needs one, call them up because it's a pretty good deal. Fascinating stuff. What's the strangest thing, David, they found? I asked that, and they told me the, the weirdest thing for sure was a brick of cocaine and a handgun. Uh, the box owner, it turned out, was already in prison, and as a result of that, got five more years in prison. Uh, apparently, his plan was, well, when I get out of prison, I'm going to box, get the cocaine, sell it, and then, I guess, have a stash of cash to get started again. But That's a plan. Didn't work out. The strangest stories from that office, I bet. <laughs> yeah, and they may find some other weird yeah. stuff, too, we won't talk about. David, thank you very much. Now, to check if you have any unclaimed property, visit our Channel 3000 Facebook page. We've posted a link to the State Treasury's website for you. Schuler suggests you check annually and search all of your relatives as well. Treasurer Schuler campaigned on.